Matter of fact, I want you to grab that same finger that takes low effort, right? To lower that temperature. I'm gonna grab that same finger that takes no effort and shove it up your- Coach Craig, and today I'm going to review a popular fitness channel called Teaching Men's Fashion. In this video, it says six ways to burn more fat while you sleep. I was caught by the thumbnail. It had him at 190 and then it had him the next day at 180. And I'm like, okay, he lost 10 pounds in one day. So what is the secret? What is he going to teach us? What is this magic sorcery that's going to help us lose 10 pounds in one day? There's six key tips. I'm going to go over them and see if it makes any sense. And if he's spewing lies, I'm going to tell you. So he goes to bed and weighs 193 pounds. We don't know if that's actually what he weighed. We don't see his body. For all I know, he's wearing a backpack, a jacket. He's carrying a dumbbell. He stands on the scale and it says 193. And then he wakes up the next morning and he's 184.6. That's 8.4 pounds. That's not 10. The video thumbnail said 190 nighttime, 180 morning. That's already a lie. And it's 8.4 pounds. And don't you know, Coach Greg has lost 8.4 pounds or more overnight at least 500 times. Now, I don't need to exaggerate because it's at least 500 times. And I didn't lose a magic amount of fat overnight in doing so. So let's see what else he says. Let's see if there's more lies. No, this isn't some get rich quick scheme or drink some vinegar with lime water BS or some crazy diet. So it's not some get rich quick scheme. It's not some BS diet. It's actual things you do the day before so that you can magically burn fat all night and lose 8.4 pounds just like he did in one night. Not one week, not one month, one night. The more water you drink, the more you're going to want to go to the restroom and flush a lot of those fluids out. I 100% agree with him. I don't just make these videos to knock these people down. They say good information. They say good information. Drink more water. Water actually does burn calories. When you drink water, the body has to heat that water up and it will burn calories. I've done a video on this in the past. The more water you drink, the more you pee. Now, don't you think that if you drink a lot of water right before bed and then you weigh yourself, 193, and then you go to bed, you might wake up and pee a whole bunch of times during the night. That's what happened. I've done this at least 500 times because I've drinking a lot of water. I know these tricks. Drink a lot of water. I go to bed bloated with a bunch of water weight on me. And then I peed out. And I wake up shredded in the morning. Didn't burn a bunch of fat. I peed a lot. But I tell you, you don't magically breathe out oxygen and you lose eight pounds. He didn't sweat out all that weight. This guy wasn't sweating, the bed sheets weren't soaked, and trust me, they are soaked if you're sweating off eight pounds. Eight pounds of water is four liters. You think you can jump out four liters overnight without making a mess in your bed? That's a big freaking wet spot. Better sleep means a better and stronger metabolic rate as you sleep, which means more calories burned as you sleep. I'll go with that. If you train, you will have a little bit of epoch you'll have the ability to burn a few extra calories later in the day in repairing the muscle tissue. So you trained your arms, you did your bench presses, and the muscles have to recover, and a few extra calories are being burnt in this process. Your body's repairing muscle tissue, and a few extra calories, and therefore, possibly some extra fat are being used for energy while you sleep. That can make a few grams difference of fat loss. So I'm not gonna disagree with that. Aerobic is great, especially for your heart rate to really keep the, the health of your heart. To keep the health of your heart. And resistance training is great for those DOMS. I was about to think he was gonna say the arms, but the DOMS. Delayed onset muscle soreness. You don't actually need delayed onset muscle soreness to build muscle. I don't actually suggest you train like that. I promote train harder than last time. But guess what? If you train to the point of you're sore everywhere and you got DOMS and you're like walking crooked and you can't walk and you're looking like you're holding in a poop and you're freaking walking up, you train too hard and you need to train easier than last time. So he's basically promoting overtraining. So at the start of the video, he went on about how 
I'm not here to promote some BS money-making scam or any of this stuff. And it's about two and a half minutes into the video and he's got some kind of skipping rope he's trying to sell. I mean, come on, like at least be honest. Like I'm trying to sell a cookbook. I tell you I'm trying to sell a cookbook. I'm not gonna start the video with, hello everybody, I'm not going to try to sell anything today. And then two minutes into it, buy my cookbook. Yay, buy my cookbook, it's so good. At least tell you it's good, I'm trying to sell a cookbook. Why don't you just say, I want you to buy a skipping rope that's weighted because it's gonna do this and that. Don't lead the video with, I'm not trying to do anything money-making thing. The beauty of a jump rope is that you can throw it in your gym bag. You can throw it in your backpack, in your luggage. You can do it at your office. You can do it at home. You can do it in the hotel room. You yeah, can yeah, take, it's like it. a buildup, but it's also great for building speed, all packed in one single exercise. Resistance training as you work out. So what's happening now is that every time you swing, you're working your upper body muscles. And I promise you, if you've ever jumped rope before, this is gonna be unlike anything you've ever done, where after a few jumps, you're gonna start feeling the pump in your upper body. Now here's the sweet part with cross rope. When you invest in one of their systems, it comes with a free app. Inside the app, you have tons of, you wanna start getting a great workout and burning more calories. Why did he call the freaking video six reasons to buy my freaking skipping rope? Buy my skipping rope. Me, 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 me. It's a seven minute video. I've gotten two things to do and I've just listened to half the video about why I need to buy a skipping rope with weight in it. It's too light. It's not gonna be enough resistance. And once the freaking rope is turned, like after one revolution, it's freaking got its own force. It's not gonna require a lot of effort to skip a one pound freaking rope. What's next? Shoot a basketball to freaking get your tricep muscles up? It's not a 25 pound skipping rope. It's not a battle rope. Do push-ups. Go for a walk. Don't do this, come on. Plus free shipping, which is an absolute steal and a great way to get your hands on some gym gear. He has 4.6 million followers. Why are you following this BS? Come on, why? Number three, drop the temperature in your room. And back to some freaking information, no one in the world is watching this. At the point number three out of six, everyone is tuned out because he spent two and a half minutes talking about a skipping rope in a seven minute video. Start reducing the temperature on your thermostat, it's gonna help you lose. Who else gives you tips this effective and this easy to follow? On, on YouTube. Who else? Matter of fact, Coach Craig does and spades. Are you kidding me? Is this for real? Is this a real ver? Is this a scam? Who sent me this video to review? No, this is not real. This isn't really happening. Did he do this as a joke? Does he really have 4.65 million followers? 50,000 people have seen this video. Well, actually, that's not that many. More people who watch my videos and only have 400,000. Just 10 times more freaking followers than me and I'm getting more views than he is on a video. Why is that? Because his videos suck. The next tip, turn down the temperature of the thermostat. Ooh, turn it down, just press it so easy. Yeah, freeze your freaking ass off and burn more calories at night. Ooh, that's great. Next tip, tip number four, be naked and do exercise naked outside in the winter. Walk around with only your panties on in the winter time. Go make a snowman naked. Yay, quit your job and get your electricity turned off and then you lose weight because you're freezing to death in your apartment. Matter of fact, I want you to grab that same finger that takes low effort, right, to lower that temperature. I'm gonna grab that same finger that takes no effort and shove it up your and instead, I want you to turn it onto your screen, right? I want you to scroll down just a little bit, a tad, not, not too much, right? Are you right? serious? And not too much, I promise you, you're, you're gonna look more shredded if you do this, right? And click subscribe. You guys watch this? 21 minutes till bike race. I'm gonna ride harder than freaking last time after watching this bullshit. Number four, take a hot shower. And I, I whoa, 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 whoa. Tip number four, have a hot shower before bed. Because it relaxes you and helps you sleep. Why not just say it takes some melatonin? Go to bed on time. Don't bring in your cell phone before bed. Don't watch TV before bed. I mean, the tip could be 
do anything to help you sleep better because literally at the first step was saying exercise so that you sleep better at night. I mean, it's just, come on, it's just useless. Come on, everybody knows it. Stuff. What's tip number five gonna be? Bang your babe before bed because after you come, you sleep better. That relaxes me. Does it relax you? What sounds better, that or freaking a bunch of sit-ups? If you want to sleep like a baby and lose a little extra cushion while you sleep, you might need to do a little cushion for the push. Okay, he finally gave a tip that made sense. Sex. Boom. Makes sense. Finally gave a tip that's actually useful. Get at least 30 grams of protein right before going to bed. Preferably slow releasing protein, like what you would get out of your cottage cheese or casein. And the next tip is get 30 grams of protein before bed, like from casein. Right around 30 minutes before going to bed can help boost your metabolic rate as you sleep. Now, I don't disagree with the fact that eating protein before bed is good to stimulate muscle protein synthesis and build muscle. However, if you have 30 grams of protein, that's 120 calories. So if your goal was primarily just to lose more fat, to burn fat overnight, to lose weight, you would want to avoid the eating. The more calories you eat, the less you're going to lose. So six ways to burn more fat while you sleep. This is what you need to know. This is actually what you need. Listen to this. The rest are just small beneficial things. Eat in a calorie deficit. Burn off more calories than you ate that day so that you burn fat during the sleep because you're in a deficit. If you binge eat or eat too many calories at night or eat too much the day before and you go to sleep, you're not gonna be in a caloric deficit and you're not gonna then burn fat all night. If you are in a deficit, you are going to burn all fat. So the goal is eat less, eat less. If you eat less, you'll burn more fat while you sleep. That is the rocket science. That is all you needed to know. He could have said the main step, the top tip of the day on how to burn fat at night, be in a deficit when you go to bed. Eat less food. You want to get into all the other scientific stuff like how to build muscle and the training and the DOMS and the cardiovascular benefits and fat burning and all this stuff. That's all great. This is a different video. But to burn fat while you sleep, you need to be in a calorie deficit. You need to eat less calories that's it less calories if you don't want to eat less calories you need to burn off more so that involves cardiovascular exercise or movement in general the sex yep you might burn 30 calories that helps not as much as walking seven miles but it certainly helps gregdusset.com for coaching gregdusset ip pro follow me i'm only 10 times less popular than this guy but i know 10 times more Shocking. I don't know how this works. He does have longer hair than me. He has a beard. I don't know if there's some kind of correlating factor that's going on here. I don't know how he got so popular. Maybe it's because he's teaching men's fashion. Maybe I'm not fashionable. Maybe I need to stop wearing a freaking tank top. Maybe if I wore more, I don't know, cool clothes, rich people clothes, suits and stuff, maybe then people would listen to me a bit more. I haven't figured it out yet. I have been growing my hair longer. My views have been going up. I do have more subscribers than last time. Last time I checked, I had less than the next time that I'll check. I'm doing something right. I don't like tattoos, so I don't want to get the tattoo. I don't want that factor. So anyway, I'm working on the hair, and I'm trying to give quality information. So gregdusset.com for coaching. Greg Doucette, IFB Pro. Buy my cookbook. Don't buy a skipping rope. If you start doing a skipping rope thing, instead of actually lifting weights, your muscles are not going to get as big as if you had actually lifted the weights. Still good cardio though. Skipping ropes, good cardio. Certainly gonna shrink the legs. It's not gonna build as much muscle. It's not that good if that's what you wanna do, fine. But that kind of cardio is very difficult and more for advanced level athletes. And until next time, I am out.